I don't know if it actually worked. <laughs> I'll have to go double check again. It's like the, the, the most garden variety stream ever. Um, my life? Are we on the internet? Oh, may oh no, that's maybe copyrighted by Critical Role. I don't know. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not doing anything. There was a network error. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. it started like, and it was like live one second ago. Live. There you go. You're up now. Am I? Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I'm just going to keep this muted and that is fine. I'll put you on the right and put my stuff on the left. OBS is fine. My face is not in here. And welcome to another, this time, mini session of the Rekindled <laughs> campaign. My name is Rusty. <laughs> and I'm joined here today by Luna. Say hi, Luna. Hello. And just her. So today we're going to try out something uh, that I initially designed for the campaign as well, is to basically have solo sessions um, where when scheduling does completely crap itself, we can still get some kind of progress in here. It's going to be a tryout. And it's like one of the more hard, the harder to manage hooks into the campaign. Um, but we're going to try it out and see where we end up. So. Um, I'll do the actual recap just so we don't actually need a full session report and we'll do the actual session report okay. next time um, in World Anvil as well. So um, I'll kind of set the scene. I should manage this window. So basically it's been the afternoon. Uh, the mayor has just given you directions to the abandoned or well at least shut down miners exchange in Vandalin. Uh, a building that you assume was once used to store mining equipment, um, probably when this was like a more developed town somewhere in the past or something. At least anyway, you're kind of outside of the city right now as well, uh, which is a good thing because he's asking you to lay low at least until around midnight when he's going to contact you again to actually give you like the, some of your documents or something like that to actually allow you to run around town without okay. getting arrested the entire time or lynched, um, depending on what happens. Good. So um, so you'll have the run of the town next session. Um, okay. At this point, though, it takes like once you've kind of settled in um, in the in the exchange at a certain point, your shit will actually get delivered. Uh, so the stuff that you left behind in the inn will be like your backpack and your traveling stuff and like the i mean the stuff we were forced to leave behind at the end well forced is is you know you could have contested it but you know <laughs> mm -hmm. no the dm was specifically saying leave your shit here um, yes but you, you yes. could have you could have um never feel like i actually force you to do stuff i mean just make my life harder <laughs> if you want to um <laughs> so i'll and i'll i'll throw it to you for the Already throw it to you, Luna. What does the vicar do, like um, maybe before and then after she gets her stuff? Like, what's her, what's her deal? Is she gonna break her few? Yeah, I just wanna. Meditate? No, 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 no. I, I think that since the mayor was like, "Hey, don't go anywhere." She's very, she's very law-abiding. She doesn't wanna make trouble. Um, she respects authority. So she's gonna spend her time waiting for our stuff to show up by like reorganizing the place that we're at like setting it up so that okay. ward and i each have our own little spaces and you know if there's curtains or something i'm not you know. wondering give me actually that's it that's a good idea by the way i'm wondering if i actually have a map for this building because <laughs> I, I don't know i think i actually have maps for most of these um, so give me one second. If there's a map, I'll I'll, I'll pull it up. Um, sure, sure. Uh, miners exchange, and otherwise like, we can still have like a kind of a miners exchange. It's gonna show off my how fast I can pull shit out of my ass. Um, <laughs> rekindle scenes. Let's see. Uh, home, home, home. No, that's not it. It's the store. No. Oh yeah, there is. There actually is. Um, nice. I'll bump it with no grid then. That should be fine. Lighting should be off because uh, we don't actually play with lighting. Which I'm still afraid. Turn off shiny water. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me see. Wait, no, that's fine. Okay, I shouldn't bump you in there. 
Wait, holy shit. Alright. Um, no, you do not get... This This back was basically part of an initiative, like when Fandlin was kind of rebuilt and remodeled. So mm. we're going to have to actually retcon some stuff here on the map and then I'll show it. Because <laughs> there's some... There's some stuff here you're not entitled to just yet. Uh, what? Yeah. It's going to be Shadow. I'll actually do something proper with the, with the map itself. Oh, I have no idea if this works. Though. Hold on. Almost there. So I'm going to add some Shadows here, which is basically you know an unknown part of... It's only a tiny building right now. It's like a shed, basically. Um, okay. So that's that. And there's like a apparently an outhouse. You get the outhouse, then I'll give you that. Um, let me. Are we playing Barbies? Yeah. Like we are. Here we are. And you play dolls, and the dolls never have a bathroom. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't work. Why is the shadow not here? Uh, hold on. Almost. The whole there. thing is shadow. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Token video. Really, Teddy. <laughs> Nice it's always on stream. Have you been to our stream? I, ha I have. <laughs> I think we got to this place. Why is it not? Hold on. Um. Oh yeah, I got another. I got another module installed. <laughs> Hold on. Um. Just remembered. Uh, it actually... Okay. Well, I'll look at my screen and not watch your. No, no, your it's stream. fine. It's fine. I actually pulled in my dummy on the. Yeah, this will do it. All right. So, yeah, this is this is pretty accurate. Okay, I'm gonna pull you into the scene now as well. Please. Um, uh, pull to. Oh, I can just activate it. I think. Activate. Yeah, it's loading. Can you see? Ninety-eight percent. Cool. Yeah, there's like a preload option. I don't actually know what it is. Um... Why is everything black? Yeah, it, everything is black. Can you see something in the bottom right or not? Nope, everything is black. Ah, oh, crap. Why does it work? Do I have to push the fog again? I don't know how this works. Uh, this is fine, this is fine. Alright, just look away for one second. Well, it doesn't actually really matter. It's not stuff that's actually relevant. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Full map. That's weird. Nice help. I have to... Yeah, right? Um, this this part actually doesn't exist. Okay, so I'm we're sorry, in the... Your, your, this is the original mining exchange. <laughs> so as Aww. I said, like, a wheelbarrow, some... Room wow. For, for is that a... really what's in there? That, like... is, that is basically... <laughs> This is oh, well, shit. it's gonna be a little bit more empty. There's not actually gonna be five wheelbarrows there, but um but Damn. yeah, this is this is the idea. It's basically like a storage shed. Um there's you could so cleaning it up and making yourself a little bit of a room so you can actually rest. Um, yeah. It's not a bad idea though. So I think it's necessary. <laughs> um is there a broom anywhere? Can I make a broom? <laughs> You can certainly try. There is some. You can probably find like a like a, a piece of like a detach something from like a shovel or something to have. Well, I was gonna some... say. I mean, Ward brought his stick, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't. No, no, he lost his stick. His stick was. He lost scared. his stick <laughs> during the during the arrest last time. Man. Um. But sure. Just roll me a flat twenty, and we'll do some jury rigging. Um. To see if you can, uh, you know, gather the materials for everything. Just to get those those low numbers out again, right? Right. Oh my it, gosh. It, it you ha you give up halfway through. Like most of the stuff here has been here for a very long time, and you would imagine anything you would broom or dust away would just land in the same spot as well. So opening a window helps, clearing some because right, so right. you do have your bedroll eventually. Like when your stuff, like I'll just basically at a certain I... point there's uh, you look outside and your stuff is there nobody knocked nobody introduced themselves your stuff was just like there at a certain point. <laughs> the mayor probably didn't want them to see that we were actually here he's like hey take these guys stuff and just leave it over there and you're like all right we creating a junk pile sure that's that's possible that is possible um um but yeah, you got so you got some of your basic equipment like some some traveling gear basically. You got a bedroll and you know whatever else you 
brought with you from your town of we will have to figure this out, this out later um I'm far so, far away <laughs> right um but you do have all of your religious stuff as well like anything you might have brought i should actually double check your did my we, character sheet yeah did we <laughs> actually mark what you brought because i forgot um i assumed all of this stuff was the minus the weapons i doubt like, she would have brought should, any should weapons there, or... right like let me quickly see if there's so yeah i, yeah, I read yeah, like... all of the weapons obviously the armor um, handles and rations and, and the rest of it is definitely in there so yeah so again, yeah just rations. like backpack water skin that's fine you do have clothes on you have an emblem arms box did you bring the arms box <laughs> Or is it just... <laughs> you know, that was part of the basic equipment. I, don't right, know. Right. I just figured it was like a box. Just right. like, she's it's got a box. Like and box of the village. She's like, I'm going to be away no. for a month. Also, I'm taking this. <laughs> taking the money with me. <laughs> no, I figure it, I it's... Maybe it used to be an alms box, but now it's got like a sewing kit and oh, no. I don't is know. It, is it remember. like the, the thin box that you think is going to be cookies, but there's so Right. Yes. It's there. exactly like that. Right. <laughs> it's grandma's cookie box, Ow. but actually. <laughs> it's, it, it actually just has sewing equipment. Okay. You can use yeah. this to disappoint the children in the town with later. Uh, your yeah. holy symbol, basic <laughs> buttons, <laughs> blanket, tinder box, box of incense, how do you the sensor is what sensor, sensor? Okay. Yeah. so okay. it's in real life it's like a over like something like the... it's a ball like a a ball that you can open that has scroll work and like little designs whatever on it you take your block of incense you set it on fire you put it in the sensor you screw it back up and then you like whip it around yeah yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Priest smoke screen uh, let's go yeah <laughs> right and then actually uh um, all right, well, you have to have two sets of vestments in case the first one gets dirty. That is true. That is true. It's um, like your backup underwear. All right. So you do have all of that stuff. Um, you I have that obviously you do have the red cap. So, and obviously you're a crystal, which is not in here. So um, That's true. I do need to add that. So do remember to add that. Because right. I, I will not. I will sometimes look into your inventory, but mostly whatever's in there is going to be up to you guys. Um so all right so you got your stuff you're kind of get, getting settled in um i have no idea what ward is doing so he's kind of like in a dark cloud of dm doesn't know what he's doing um probably looking into weaponry because i think he mentioned something actually want to create some some you know makeshift weapons here which he could probably start doing as well so probably be mm. something along those lines um so okay Besides setting up shop, basically, and, and making a little nest or home for yourself, what does the figure want to do? Um, yeah, most of... That's, that's really... She's gonna hunker in, kind of look out the window every now and again, see... I mean, we're, we're kind of in a an isolated location, so I don't imagine there's going to be a bunch of people walking by. And we're not supposed to talk to anybody. No, so. I, th I think, like, throughout the afternoon, maybe like a little bit after you might have actually heard like the, the 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 slow passing by of a cart like with a with a single pulling animal not sure what like just like slowly to mm, like an oxen or something yeah probably some somebody heading out down um cuz you know this is one of the actual exits um which goes south and then bends uh, further south as well into the mountains um, okay. So this is this is one of the not like commonly used ones from what you've seen, but this is an actual. This this road actually goes off into the forest if you go uh, west, uh, out 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 of the town as well. So we'll see. If, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. If there's nothing specific. Um... No, I mean she's so. Remember, she made a a copy of the whatever words or symbols oh, right. or whatever yeah, were inside the, 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 the symbols on the crystal yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and she was gonna check that out see if maybe she recognizes any of those and then if not just you know study her holy texts mm -hmm. all right um make uh well it's a flat roll still but we'll call it a history check 
crossbred with religion when you're trying to because like i mentioned to her like she doesn't know the cipher but she recognizes mm -hmm. it from somewhere so we'll see if you can find any trail of of that so you can just make a religion slash history check see if you can mm -hmm. figure it out eh, not bad i'm you, agreed like in the in the older less studied parts of your of your religious we'll call it can i call it a bible i don't know what we should call it <laughs> but I, yeah i wasn't really sure either religious it's book of something it's, yeah it's because it's not going to be a proper book that's your alms box indeed thanks for showing that um, <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, <laughs> One of the older texts, stuff that that's not really commonly used. It's it's like it has older language in there as well, which is makes you think like you might have seen it somewhere in there as well. You don't actually understand all of it. You're pretty sure some of it is like an older bastardization of Elvish or Celestial, um, mm. which you do not speak in this form. Um, and you actually do recognize uh, some of the circles coming back and some of the ciphers. You can actually match them. You can actually get some 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 meaning out of it but you mm -hmm. do manage to tie it to like the older undated we're not sure when this was written but we'll just say it was a hundred years ago but it might have as well been a thousand or two or five hundred you don't know right um okay. you do find like the first trace there and uh i'll keep a note of this like like your investigation into deciphering it so you basically mm -hmm. the time you have now uh, you got your first little hook there um Yay. Yay. Um, now, while you're basically looking into those, like you're getting kind of not, it's not border zoned out, but you're like more like zoned in, like you're getting really into this yeah. and like Ward kind of disappears into the back of your mind as well, even though he's still probably making a lot of noise and doing like fake Ward noises, things, Ward things basically, but yeah, start forgetting about him. Um, and just make a perception check on top of that as well because the hours are kind of slowly creeping by and mm. you start to holy lose. crap did you see how fast that rolled that was... thanks number one i'm number one you are number one oh and this god is this is perfect for the hook because this is exactly what happens like your perception of the world around you completely fails <laughs> and the next time you're looking up you want to look up and and tell ward like hey i i found like the first clue here like look these are the are the same Mm. is when you realize it's completely black out like dark outside which doesn't really make sense because you would have lost like six hours or something yeah which does not feel that way also the second thing you notice ward is not there mm. the room feels almost like more emptier than when you left it and it 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 feels kind of I don't know if you've put up any lights, but there's only the Well, vacuum. no, I mean, it was right. it was nice outside. Right. Yeah, you know, was, we opened the windows. A, it was an actual sunny day. And you can yeah. see that there's there's no actual light sources in there, but it is visible just by the sheer light of your pulsing crystal. Pulsing crystal. I have to make this is... less erotic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is, is the crystal, like, actually activated or whatever? It seems to... Give, it, it it doesn't have it, you haven't seen it emit actual light since you came out of the manor yeah besides that one moment when you you know did the investigation in the cell where it was like a light little flicker like a light mm -hmm. little flame um but now it's actually like fairly emitting a, a bright light source all around you uh much as when you first stepped through the door in the manor um mm. i like hold it up on its chain and like look at it suspiciously. <laughs> it's right. like, did you do that? Are you as actually asking it? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hold on. <laughs> mm, you, you feel it like kind of resonate like you put the words and you're not even sure if you said those out loud or they were in your head but you feel the crystal kind of as in a response kind of light up mm. no words just a little sure yeah just a little all right well 
okay, so I'm, I'm still kind of holding it out, but I'm not trying to take it off. I'm just like holding it out kind of like you would a lantern. I'm like, all right, well, where am I supposed to go? Let's do this. <laughs> right. And so like I turn slowly in a circle to see if perhaps it gets lighter or more focused or if like anything about the light quality changes or it somehow indicates which direction I'm supposed to go. Cause she completely thinks this is like God given. Yeah. She's, right? she's buying into it. Right. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, she is okay. down. Just give me one second. Cause I can make this kind of interesting. Maybe. Um, oh, no, where this... is it? oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Uh, um, that got weird. Yeah, I don't know how this will look on your screen. We're, 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 we're gonna try it out. Can I do air quotes? Like air is quotes? I don't know what that does. I'm gonna try it out. I don't know what this is gonna do. Um, so you're looking, you're walking around the room, like holding the crystal out. You can still kind of feel it vaguely going uh, dimmer and brighter uh, when you're turning and spinning. Um, mm. um, let's see, what's the first thing you'll get? You hear distant whispers, um, and you're trying to make them out, but there's it's in a language you can't really understand at first. You're like, this isn't common. Mm -hmm. But then... Cool. And oh. you start recognizing them. And I okay. Think, did it, you, were you actually able to read those? Yeah, it says translated from Celestial. Oh, perfect, perfect. Because this is what yeah. happens. You're like, you're doing this weird shift where you know two languages and you're expecting something in a language that you were thinking or speaking in. And somebody mm -hmm. switches languages. And, and I've actually it, had that happen in real life. So. <laughs> right, there we go. So <laughs> it takes you a moment. And you're like, wait a minute, I do... I do understand these words, and then you're like, hear my, hear my call, please. Okay. And the whispers continue, and, and it, it's, it's hard to actually make out the words, but you're like, holy shit, this is celestial. <laughs> these aren't words. That's not English. That is not common, right? Like, so this is the first yeah. thing you hear. Um, do you re respawn? Yes, I hear you. Can I help? And the the voice, like, kind of, like, you hear, like, an audible gasp. Actually. I'm pretty sure I'm real. And you can, it, it takes, a, takes a little bit for the voice to respond again. And, and um, it goes into, like, rapid breathing. Like, almost, you're not sure what's going on. But you're fairly certain the other person, the person on the other end of the line, is crying or at least being being having a having a sort of oh. a, a, a moment. <laughs> well, um, it's it's okay, it's okay. I'm here to help. Oh, I should probably be saying it in celestial, huh? You, you were. Or or was I? You were. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just doing this in, in text as well, but I'll, I'll narrate. Um, yeah, no, it's good. So, um, <clears throat> the voice responds. Please, follow the light. You should, you should be able to find me. They are, they are coming, though. You have to. You have to hurry if you're real. You have to hurry. Okay, okay. Um, I look around to see if my stuff is here. Like, my stuff from the other world. You are... You are fully equipped. Which oh, also sounds great! More like and and this also doesn't like initially. You were already. It doesn't just suddenly happen. It was just so common for you to actually be in your gear mm. that it hadn't realized. Like the same way you like switched to the celestial and picked it up. Like you're good to go, basically. Um, nice. And it, okay. It's, it's it's not sparking that, especially with that one that I'm carrying over a little bit longer. It's it's not triggering anything like hey this is odd, 
um, somebody has called for aid and, and you're like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, so he's like, follow, follow the light. And with that, you can actually see, uh, oh, I can actually do this now. Hold on. You, in the darkness, actually see. Oh, dude, that's so cool. A little light pop up. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Let's um, follow this thing. All right. And and you follow it in the first one. And there's no actual light source. There's no lantern. There's nothing. There's just a little light on the road. Um, hmm. And another one. Uh, let's see. And it's going to actually send you over this way on the road. And then I'll, I'll actually recenter it as well. Um, okay. And when you're halfway through following the lights, um, you hear the voice coming again. And it says, so Don't go into the shadows. Just follow the lights. They are watching. They are coming. Just follow the lights. Hurry. Um, okay. I, I try my best to avoid the shadows. Mm -hmm. You basically do like this little, like almost a, like a skip. And when you linger you can actually make a perception check here again uh, using your actual stats this time uh, hold on i know how to do this there's my man not that's not my man why won't my man come up how come my overhead isn't coming up anymore I think you have to be on the on the. Hold on, I'll actually just pop you on the scene just to make it, because we are doing a little bit of an interaction. So I'm dropping you on the scene. Ah, and, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Now your overhead should actually work. Okay. So, okay, hold on. So I was doing this, maintaining this. Um... Oh yeah, bitches! Oh, there we go. Perfect. Great! I got a one, and then I got a twenty. So there you go. There we go. <laughs> This is actually this is actually perfect, because when you're when it's when the voice is like talking about the shadows and you're like skipping from one like like safe haven of light into the next one, you actually look to over to your right from where you are right now, mm -hmm. and as clear as day, you turn to the right and you see like this slow, like Whoa. Like, a, like an almost anti light of the ones you've been following, like a like a dark red almost black at the center pulsing light in the bushes and you see like first two pinpricks of red eyes popping up and then another one oh. like higher in the tree and and you see kind of the shadow of the tree of the the, 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 brush, the bush in the tree like kind of looming over you over the ground and snaking your way towards your foot and uh yeah, definitely making faster way towards the light. Right, right, right. <laughs> like I want nothing to do with those shadows at all. All right, and you can and you you can hear them. I gotta double check though your languages again. What other ones we have? No, Common, yeah. celestial, elvish, and orban. They basically like once the the and the tendril goes closer, like and like you feel like this guttural anger of 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 just you know raw energy trying to find its way to you and you snake up you can actually move your token up the back mm. too, actually hold on. yeah definitely no thank you yeah, okay. so mm -mm. Up to the next one and you hear the the voice again <laughs> and it goes again like good keep, keep going square brackets <laughs> Square brackets. <laughs> I can't. There's no more map. It's okay. And don't listen to them. They are angry and, and they're hungry. You have to hurry. Hungry? Um, that doesn't I'll, sound good. I'll actually go to the Fadlin map now, which I should also bathe in darkness. <laughs> um, which is such a cool thing that I can do this now. Um, that is cool. This is half tag demo half session. Um, I'm gonna actually these ones and these ones. Aren't you sad that you drew over the map so much? <laughs> it's fine. It's in, it's in it's actually in the history and all the vaults as well. So, um, all right, and I'm gonna see if this Oops. works. I'm just gonna narrate your 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 
you following the lights just stop mm -hmm. me if you want to do some specific so basically like another one pops over up and like you can see like the the lights appear and you do have to kind of hurry every time like if you linger and if you start looking around especially when you're not in this light source mm -hmm. and, uh, it, it it starts to you, you can feel like this anger almost rushing up to you and and, and being more aggressive as well like a like a pack of dogs chasing you and um okay and being being um, almost like frustrated frustrated that they can't reach reach you um so now it, it, when i make it i don't know how to make a can you see if i draw a square no um can't you draw if, oh, that's lame. N no i can just i can make a square but i think it's more for selecting people if oh, there's yeah, more yeah, people. Yeah, yeah no you don't actually have drawing tools which is lame okay but go, yeah what do you want? no um when i make it to this this first house away from our house mm -hmm. uh light number four yep. Yeah, I can actually does see your Does that there. house... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, does this house look like it did when we passed it coming in? Or does it look more spoopy like it did when we were, you know, in the flip side? Okay, I'll carry over your perception here as well for the rest of the, the track. Because you're like, you're in your element, right? You're, you're mm. doing what you're supposed to be. I'm going to try to toggle this out yeah there we go um let's see it's hard to tell at first because it's based in darkness you also see mm -hmm. that you can actually see like the 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 sky up ahead is mm -hmm. unnaturally dark this isn't a proper just moonless night or anything like it almost looks like like somebody took like a black like uh tarp or something over over this over the town and it's just black there's no stars there's nothing in the sky and it feels really hard to actually focus on things in the distance especially when there's no light sources and with this house it's the same thing you actually have like a kind of a light source in front of the house and you can see like the door but the rest of the house is almost like in the shadows as well and when you start looking at the door and like trying to figure out like is this actually different and it does look different um mm -hmm. the it's subtle but I'll, I'll i'll take that that nat 20 with with us um but it's there's like uh different colorations like it's still the same house kind of but you can see like the the the, the windowsill is different the 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 uh, metals used on the door frame are different um mm. and and you're trying to pick out all of these details like this is still the same house but it doesn't look like the house that we actually passed like a couple hours ago or whatever time is in this place. Um, the thing is though, when you're investigating those things, give me a second. Oh yeah, the door does slowly start to open. Uh. Uh, and you can see like the first tendrils like coming around. Like, nope, fuck uh, that, moving like, on. Like, like, <laughs> like a claw opening the door and just slowly, uh, you're moving out. Yeah, nope, forget it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not interested in meeting monsters, thanks. Give me just a flat initiative as well. Just no, to see what, uh, what, what... You uh, have to put me there. Oh, you uh, just give me a d20. Just give me a d20 from your sheet. Uh, like an initiative roll from your sheet, I think. I think you should be able to do that. Um, let me just I don't know if I can. Um, oh, well, my modifier is zero anyway, so yeah. no active encounter. No, so roll, I can roll a flat one then. It's fine. Oh, something to go on. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, you're you're like this time, highs and lows. You were you were still like still trying to get your get your bearings in this world mm -hmm. and. And you're a little bit too late. Like this door starts to open, and you're like, "Oh shit, I gotta get out of here!" But with like a rush of 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 angry energy, the door slams open, and something rushes you just when you're mm -hmm. able to step back into the light, like fully in the light. And you can actually feel, um, hold on, like one of these tendrils actually actually swipe you and rip part of your cloth, and you take hey. uh, you take five points of necrotic damage. No, thank you. Rude. I don't know how to... Mm. You five is a lot. I, five is a lot. <laughs> I know. Um, five 
is indeed a lot and it it does properly put you in your place where you're like i man she wasn't kidding apparently i better get on it <laughs> yeah, yeah well or at least stay very very you know keep moving <laughs> don't leave mm. her um is, is she gonna notice no she's still gonna notice um you can hear the voice again though like repeating now going kind of a mantra and more like almost in a prayer again like please be please be real and 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 like going more into the monotonous like droning of a of a chant mm. like please okay. come I'm, I've, I've called for you i i summon you um and you actually do pick up and i'll carry your net your perception in there as well um she's actually specifically calling for shantea tia oh okay yeah and she's like please send send me your send me your guide and send me your strength and send me your rage because the night is dark and they'll come for me and and they'll they'll i'm everything. the messenger this is awesome you don't know did well but you it, know it, okay it, it, it does like to the vicar this is indeed like somebody's this does does not seem weird to the vicar no um, not at all this is like if somebody's praying for some holy guidance or a messenger or something of shantae even though i don't know what i'm supposed to do mm -hmm. i fully believe shantae brought me here mm -hmm. yeah, yeah for a reason she's, to help she's... this specific woman yeah so, all right i better hurry then right. um Oh crap, my lighting things are... Oh no, there it is. No, sorry, this oh. wasn't an actual light source. My, <laughs> my UI is bugged. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, you follow to the next, to the last light? You want to... Yeah. I, I... By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm setting a very dangerous thing around all of the light, but don't feel your... You don't have to follow and be as fast as you can, right? Like This just... woman needs my help. I need to hurry. Um, and as you get closer, you can start to hear her better as well. Like her, oh. you can start to hear the rest of the prayer, and you know this prayer. This is indeed one of them, and actually one that you have called, you've actually used before, when you mm -hmm. were in training and in in actual studying as well. And it's an actual, indeed, a summoning prayer. Um, I've been summoned. I wonder what my summoning name is. You don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> um you actually pass by the mayor's house and yeah you without lingering same deal here if you want to keep paying attention like how's the architecture how are the buildings and everything yeah like i'm i'm interested just because like does this feel more like i've been transported in time or does it feel more like i've been transported like i, I don't know to <laughs> to the the underside i don't know the backside the no, it's, sideways it, it's definitely distinctive especially with your perception right now it's distinctive enough that you're sure this isn't just like the bizarro world of the world that you grew up and this isn't just like the 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 opposite representation you can see it definitely in the town hall as well there's like different banners out um hold on, i gotta scratch my ear um there is actually well this it wouldn't there's a distinct lack of details, though. Like, this, okay. the buildings are here, there is stuff there, but it's all stuff that you're paying attention to, and once you start looking at the building, you start to pick out more stuff. But it's almost as if they're not there until you start paying attention to them. To them. Huh. And That's weird. It's this weird back and forth, where you're almost not sure if you're like, Huh, I wonder if the color of the of the banner outside of the town hall is still the same as you see that the banner is actually different. Mm. And you're kind of, you're like almost wondering, was there an actual banner before I started thinking about, was there an actual banner outside of the yeah, town okay. hall? Yeah, okay. And, and like... you get into this weird chicken or the egg thing where you're not sure if, you know. Right, like is my belief causing things to right. become real? The, and and you as the vicar mm. know that there are places, there are planes, dimensions, worlds, certain magic where your beliefs, you know, actually, I mean, the entire thing what you do as the vicar in mm -hmm. your religion is, you know, getting your yeah. beliefs into physical, actual worlds. So, you know, this yeah. is a thing. Um, if you don't want to do anything specifically at the town hall, you do 
start paying attention now to the market square, specifically the Shrine of Luck. Um, oh! Which seems to be the place where uh, the voice is coming from. And you can actually see now there's multiple lights. We'll actually, we'll actually switch into the next scene. Give me a second. Okay. Here. Um, I'm excited. This is cool. Uh, ah, this is going to be lame, though. My work is cool, too. No, it's not. Uh, I think we're going to have to do this resetting of the entire map again, which is going to be shame. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to pull in my dummy first, see what happens. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just, no, actually I have to reveal everything. It's gotta be dark. Don't worry, I'm not walking, watching the stream. I'm watching my map. Ooh, I could watch the stream. You could watch the stream. Watch the stream. No, no, I don't want a big ass light. I need fog. Kitty likes when you work. She sits on your lap and loves you. Boss. She is your boss. She's the furriest boss I've ever had. Some very bosses. Mm. All right, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm going to activate the scene and see. All right. What I also usually see. don't have my boss have no idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you actually, 98%. You actually do have a token here. So I hope mm. stuff is actually going to work. Still loading. I do have a token here. Oh, Everything is black. Everything is black? Yeah. All right. For now. It might, I mean, it might still be loading, but. Oh, no, if it's black, it's going to be black. All right. Yeah, well, you'll but... see a part of a house that you're not really supposed to see yet, but that's okay. You got the map now? I do. Yeah, and there. I am. Oh, there I am. Okay. Oh. All right, so I'll kind of set the scene here again. So you kind of you're approaching the shrine, um, which you know is the shrine of luck to Taimora, as the figure mm -hmm. spe specifically. Uh, you can see uh, a person uh, kneeling in front of the altar. Uh, she's gonna be probably over here. Oh no, that's not a. That's like an actual person. Like an actual person. Um, oh. There's like a bunch of candles like lit candles uh in the interior of like it's a half stone circle basically with like some pillars um mm -hmm. you can see the light coming from uh you see more lights darted to your right and there's also a building to the left as well that has like a flickering light outside from an actual torch light um as you um i'm gonna actually leave it up to you what happens next so there is a person there um she's kneeling she's praying and you can like very clearly hear the prayer now um also there's no more lights besides actually inside the temple and you can already hear okay. like as the backdrop to her praying it gets louder and louder but like the roar like the 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 primal to you at least uh noise and and calls and and guttural sounds are getting louder as well uh, yeah i'm so coming to the shrine but slowly, like I don't want to startle her. Mm -hmm. And as I get closer, I'm, I'm here. You've you've called, and I've I've answered. All right. How can I help you? I'm sorry. And with that, hold on. I gotta can I flip this off? Oh, can. Right. It's a lady. It is. I can actually show her off. Come on. Um. How do I do this? I can actually show artwork and stuff. That I All right. Um, let's see if this works. Show players. Oh, okay. So you see, kneeled uh, in front of in front of you, she slowly gets up, and you see this armor-clad woman, as in the artwork, basically like red long hair, mm. uh, like a, a pale face with swollen swollen eyes, as if she's been either crying or very tired or stressed, uh, carrying like a long stick with a very metal a heavy metal ball on it shield on her backside as well and there's like an actual uh, picture of a 
a winged horse uh, on a yellow tablet. Um, can I, you can click that away now. Um, let's see. And I was also looking if I can see. Just over here. It's not happening. All right. Um, so she has like long, half long uh, red hair, eyes I mentioned. Fairly tall and muscular as well. Um, and she's kind of a, you can now recognize the voice as the, the voice you've been following. And she stands up and, and looks at you. She's like, thank goodness you've come. <sighs> You're actually here. Okay, we have to hurry. We, we just stand into my light. And she, she takes her shields and she kind of gets in front of you now. And oh, pushes, okay. pushes you back uh, behind okay. her. And she's like shifting her eyes all around her. And like, and she's like, I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I heard that somebody was out there. She has no. What is your name? My name is. You can call me Ego. Ego. What? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a nickname. My my name is is Igoron. Um, uh. I'll actually add her to the scene to actually get her full name. Um, <laughs> hold, on. Uh, hold on. Add to the stage. My name is Igoron, but you, you, that doesn't really matter. All that matters is I'm a, I have faith. I have faith in you and, and you've actually been sent here. So I don't know what's coming, but they've been getting closer. And now you can also, um, let's see one of them. It's actually going to be, hold on one second. I don't think I can add. Um, and she mentions like, we have to protect them. They're so weak and there's so little I can do. I can only protect them from from them, but I can't heal them. And they're so close. They, everything I've tried and their souls are just, they, they can't leave and they'll be eaten. You have to help me. And now you see to your right, uh, you're like staring outside. Um, there's like a stretcher with, um, this is going to be. Uh, Was that there the whole time? No, it wasn't. When she That's mentioned weird. It, like to your right, you see a stretcher with a with a with a person laying on top of it. Uh, looks to be like a young boy, late teenager, fairly large in in stature, but like young in face. Uh, like okay. rolled up in fetus fetus position, like slowly moaning. Uh, you can see like gashes of blood uh, across his chest, like some attempts at bandaging, and uh, and Igoron uh, takes another step. And, and holds her shield up. I, I, I've done this ritual a thousand times. This is the first time somebody came. You have to, you have to do your thing. I will keep them at bay. Well, that sounds horrifying. Um, sure, yeah. Let me uh, do a medicine check on that mm -hmm. dude. Could you roll not shitty, please? It's it's. From what you can tell, it looks very, fairly straightforward, like outer lacerations, open wounds, uh, not properly tended to, fairly fresh as well, uh, mm. which is weird to the fact that she's been praying at least for a thousand times, is what she said. Right. Um, <laughs> but the boy's breathing, he's alive. He seems to be non-responsive though. Like you don't, you don't actually, he doesn't actually uh, react to you. Okay. At least not, that's not at first. Does um, it seem like this requires um, divine intervention, or will just like you know a band aid do it? Not like just a band aid, but you know. With a twelve, um, you'll be able to keep him stable, but um, he, if you would just leave him. With no intervention, he would be dead in, within the hour. In, okay. You know. But that's just the wounds he has right now. Um, and as you're thinking that, Egeron actually takes like another step forward. You actually see her swipe out as something comes from the shadows, takes form. And she like clashes it away with her shield. She goes like, back would ye! I will not let you have them. Not in a million years. I will stand here until my very essence has dissipated into the void. You will not have them. Back with you. Vicar, please. Hurry. Yikes. Uh, does she look hurt? Mm, 
turned out from what you can tell. Her her equipment is intact. Uh, her tabard is not stained, or at least not from what her blood, from what you assume, because she doesn't have any. There does seem to be some blood in there as well, but you assume that's from one of the uh, one of the wounds on the from the stretcher. Okay. Well, um, I guess I need to cast a cure wounds on him. I do that. Yay! All right, it's solid. Very good. All right, and with that, like the entire shrine uh, lights up. Um, let's see here. Just give me a second here. And with just with the magic of your spell, mm. you can see all of the candles growing, growing brighter and brighter, and you can actually see now with. Um, Obviously, you're focused on your target at first, but but using the actual magic, you can see that some of the shadows or some of the things outside the light are almost caught off guard with the sudden expansion of light. And you can see mm. some actual shapes now, like almost humanoid, like slowly dragging themselves forward. And if you do look out of the shrine, you can see there's like an entire, like, oh, where's my pen? Like there's eyes everywhere around you. Yikes! Is there somewhere safer we can go? Safe? But you're right here within our fate. There's no other place to go. These these souls have been lost here. They've been abandoned. They've been cut off, and they cannot go further. And they'll be here. Like like a carrot on a stick for everything that hides in the darkness. So please, we have to defeat them. We have to defeat whatever comes through that through that gate, and we have to stand strong. Well, this sounds horrifying. Okay, sure, let's do that. How can I help you? Oh my god, I'm I'm not really a fighting sort of. I'm a healer. <laughs> That's okay. Just stay behind me. Um, help that boy out, and we'll we'll make our way out of here, one way or the other. And she starts takes like another step forwards, and you can now see that she also does like some some innate prayer, and her uh, shield also starts giving off more light, um, or like the first actual beam of light, and she actually creates a little sphere of light in front of her. Um, and with that, like she she smacks her her uh, her staved weapon into the ground, and like this light source also the same as when you cast your cure wounds, it like emits like an even brighter light still, and uh, like the initial circle goes wide again. And wow. you, now okay. you can see like this you see actual physical bodies like half rotten some of them others uh, you know half in shadow but now fully in the light like starting to crumple uh, some of the bodies actually start uh, slowly making their way or trying to make their way further uh towards the shrine but then completely collapse and you can now see there's are, these are actual human bodies or what once were human bodies but uh seem to be moving out, out of some dark force um Thanks. Okay, you know. This sh this should buy us some time. <sighs> I'm so tired. And she like are those? Puts, she kind of undead. Weapon. Of course they are undead. Like everything here, it seems unnatural. They are born out of emotions that we have mm. left, left un un unchecked and un un un. They're here for us. They're here for their souls, and we're here to stop them for me as well i'm afraid and you okay see, you see her voice now after like doing this 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 entire expulsion of, of light actually goes like fairly weaker and weaker and she drops to one knee again and she starts praying again um okay so i come a little bit closer to her mm -hmm. and i put my hand on her shoulder and I are those things getting closer? No. 
it seems like with with her wave basically she annihilated the, the for now it seems to be quiet again you can also you can't really see anything else in the darkness um her light kind of does start to wane a little bit but even then it seems like the first wave is gone or at least whatever was trying to get to you has, has either backed away or has been destroyed okay can I? So we share the same faith, yes? Or it seems that way. I have called upon all of them, but yes. Sh Shanti uh, has has guided me throughout my throughout my upbringing, and she's the last one I'll call on. I've called upon all of them, but I know if nobody else would listen, that at least you would listen, because. You are her, right? She kind of oh, like child. takes one, one of your hands and like almost gently. I I am a messenger of Shantea. I am not the goddess herself. But but you must be you're here. You heard me in this in this this nightmare. This endless nightmare. I, and you see like I, how did you get here? Does she have one of the crystals? Make a perception check. Oh. All right. She does not initially, from what you can see, have one around her neck. Um, but you notice that the end of the of her staved weapon, like there's an actual glow in there, and you can now see that there's. You can see the full crystal, but you can see that there's like a, an array of uh agates worked into the, the the head of the weapon that are actually like glowing as well like almost in sync with your crystal okay. and she's like almost crying again now i don't know how long i can take this can you not go home this is my home i don't i've i've known any anything else like as long as these souls are here we are cut off Nobody's listening. Don't you understand? No, but you should be able to travel with your crystals. But they can't. And she points at, and now that she, as she points, you can see that there's like another set of three um, stretchers outside of the circle as well. And you can see, uh, let's see, two smaller forms. And one fairly large but very thin, frail form lying on the, the stretchers as well. Are they... these the monsters that were on the board? You can investigate. <laughs> you can go investigate if you want. I I want to. Yeah, you can. <laughs> can we? I I'd like to actually bring everybody together. Can we? The people will be easier to protect if they're all together, right? So can we make that happen? You're asking Ego? Her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we can try, but we have to hurry. If we're outside of the light, they'll they'll get to us. Uh, I've tried. I've managed to get the worst one in here. I think one of them's already gone. He 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 came here already, like torn and shredded and and. Okay, let's hurry. Um, mm. you can make um. Let's see. Just make a straight up religion check, and a strength check. If the panel that I've heard you're the same. This is the religion. Great. And a strength check. What? That was totally a 16. God damn it. She's got a. Oh no. It was definitely the 16 you were oh, looking no. for. Uh... These guys are too heavy to move. Um, you guys try, try to take the first one, but it's not like you could, you can start to lift it and you notice, uh, but you notice that she's completely folding. Like she, uh, she almost starts having another panic attack. Like she starts breathing very heavily. And even though she's like built as a warrior, 
she seems to be struggling really hard to pick them up and she's like we have to go back we have to go back and she like in a in a, a fit of panic rushes back into the circle um and there is nothing out there yeah. right now she just seemed to have lost oh faith, boy faith. okay so i <laughs> She's, like no 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 come back no, wait she's, please she's, she's collapsed here again and she's like praying again for somebody oh, no. else <laughs> for somebody else somebody better can i get somebody that's got better roles in here please um <laughs> like, oh thank you mighty lord please somebody who can roll above it. Please, somebody that can roll above no, a five she's, she's like she's gone and responsive as well like if you she you're gonna have to snap her out of it again okay so i will go over to her and i will put my hand on her and i will cast guidance on her all right you can and you can i yep you can click her cast guidance and then she'll actually get yeah. effect. i'm trying that's not my my little thing that used to be down at the bottom isn't there anymore. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna... Now clicking on guidance just tells me what it does. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. But what was it like? Target creature. Oh, damn it! How do you how do you target again? <laughs> Wasn't it alt left? Ah, yeah, alt left. Ah. Did it work? Mm, I don't know. Hold on. I'll let you try oh. because I want to know if it works. For ah, you. there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Like. Did it work? All right, she has yes. effect guidance. Excellent. Right. Okay. And, what you and and as I'm as I'm casting and are part of the casting of it. Say, Shantea is watching. Shantea is guiding us. Shantea will help us through. Well, she better, cause no, oh, she or else. <laughs> cause there is something bigger out there as well, and I'm afraid. I'm afraid to get them out of here, but I'm afraid for her as well. Like she's, there is something else watching, and I can feel her. When when my defenses start to falter, she feeds on it. And Shantea, please, you have to. Through the vicar, we have to do this together. And she like kind of stands up. I can do this. I will save. We can these do this. Ones. If if I can't save myself, I will at least escort these souls to the next world. Well, that's very defeatist. We got this. We can totally do this. And I cast guidance on myself too. Right. Like, right. The guidance we're, lasts how long? A minute? Yeah, I don't a minute or until you do your next yeah. whatever. Alright. So with those two castings, um she gets kind of bolstered again and steps in front of you. Come on. She, we got this. We can she, do this. She can she can actually she can smell it. She's gonna be here soon. I'm mm. actually gonna see. Hold on just a second. Because I want to make sure I do this right. And with that, like she's spearing into the void again. And you can kind of feel it before you s start seeing it. But like the air starts to change. Like a slow mist seems to seep in from all sides. And then. Uh, Let's see, all one by one, I gotta make sure I do this right here, the candles start to poof, 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 Oh, that's not good. All just snuff out. <clears throat> the nope, last, that's not good. The last one snuff completely goes out and, and you can, and now you can hear it as well, like this, this, this low wailing almost. There's a laughter in there, like a... <laughs> You're not alone anymore, are you? My sisters have told you of you. Thank you for bringing another lamb into the light. It's dinner time. And with that, um, wait, is this the one? This is the one. Whoa! The lights seem to seem to like take different shapes and colors and there's now like an actual almost would have been pretty if it wasn't so scary um, right as a slow form emerges um out of the lights in the middle of hold on is she invisible or not nope there she is uh she's gonna appear right at the center of it 
Um, can I show this artwork? Showpiece. As this wispy, like the, the lights start taking shape, and you can see like some of the lights stick to a form, and this 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 white trans almost translucent sheet of a dress, like arms reach out of it, and they start to take form, and you can hear her like she her mouth spreads open, and this laughter cackles in your mind. I like it uh, again, and and her, your eyes are piercing and looking at you. That's and... some cool effects going on there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And she she uh, responds. Oh, I can actually add her to the scene as well. I think. Oh, it would be so much better if it was Hagatha. <laughs> <laughs> it did true. Um, <laughs> actually, I have to put her in, in view here. All right. So she takes form and she looks at the both of you. And, and stretches out her arms and is like, ah, Ego, little Ego, you will fail in this world as you failed in the last. Your soul will be forever mine. Thank you for bringing this little morsel of fate into my lair, though. I will, I will leave this, this one for last. And she looks at over like the, the, the body who is almost like trying to climb up and away from her now mm -hmm. after you've cured it um and then she opens her mouth slowly and uh, no hell no the 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 well she's got a surprise round technically but we can all roll for initiative as she wails like <laughs> and her voice resonates in your mind. uh hold on let me set up a combat encounter um round one uh combat 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 there we go uh To 10. I got a 12 for Agatha. Oh, yeah. Well, at least that wasn't shitty. Yeah. Oh, right. I mean, really, as far as initiative goes, it doesn't kind of matter. Eventually, you'll get to go. Well, that depends. The lower level you are, the more important it is. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Which is true. But we can start combat off, and you're actually. Uh, hold on. Okay. All right. So here um, you are. Um, you you're faced with some kind of what you know is an undead creature, but that's that you can't really put your finger on the type. Just well, it doesn't matter. I am going to point to her, and I'll feel like you will not touch any of them ever again. And I turn undead. All right. Except can you I don't drop know how that to in do the that chat as an ability, or maybe I'll just double check. Here. I can do it. Hold on. Uh, I just added up where so did you it go. I have to roll saves, right? I don't think. know. Yeah, Boink. I think, I think I do. Did it work? Right. Nothing yeah, happened. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh. As an action, you pre uh, yeah, we're going to read it together. Uh, present your holy symbol and speak of prayer uh, censoring the undeads. Each undead that can see or hear within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw of DC 13. We'll do that off the bat. Um, wisdom saving throw. She rolls. Oh no. <laughs> I like it when you say that. I can never know if it if you're saying that oh no for you or oh no for me. But that's good. That's where we wanna be. It's definitely an oh no though. Um mm -hmm. hold on. the creature fails at saving throw, it's turned for one minute uh, or until it takes damage, turn creature must spend its turn trying to move as far away as you can, and it can't willingly move. To a space within 30 feet of you, it also can't take reactions. All right, you want to use that action or try to escape from you a little bit more details. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then let's see. No, <laughs> all right. So, this is what happens you hold up the, the symbol, you say your prayer. Um, is there anything specific you're gonna say? I did already send it. Right, yeah, I, I mean, besides that. <laughs> um, and it, it, like, the light is so bright, it, uh, it momentarily blinds you. But when it fades, she is gone. 
Mm. Well, that's not ideal. Gone like I poofed her out of existence or gone like you don't know. Well, fuck. <laughs> These new powers of mine are a little fuzzy. All right. Well, um and I can still move, so I'm going to come over there. <laughs> and I don't know what watch over this dude. Right. Make as sure you, that as you other step, things are going to step into the space. Um, you can actually see in a place of Agatha stands like this little girl with long blonde hair, like kind of looking up at you. She's like actually holding a, like some kind of rag or maybe a doll, like a shabby doll, She's looking up mm -hmm. at you like. Please, please help me. Will you please help me? I'm lost. And I'm, I'm, I lost Teddy. He's, he's supposed to be here somewhere, but I don't know where Teddy is anymore. And, and it's dark and I'm scary. And the, the scary lady's gonna come back. So will you please help me? Um, I choose to disbelieve. <laughs> well, because if this is like sister witch to the other witch, which seems kind of likely maybe i i don't believe that the you know she was a a shapeshifter she shifted into the shape of that poor little boy that was missing on the board is this one of the missing kids that was on the board no i'm suspicious you probably should be <laughs> i'm not going to i'm not going to argue with you there but there I'm is suspicious. A, there is a physical child in front of you um kind of trembling with fear but she did appear out of nowhere but Everything kind of seems to appear out of Yeah, out of everything nowhere. here is just appearing out of nowhere today. So, um... Ego, do you know this child? <sighs> she like, kind of leans over and she's like... You can now see you for the first time. Like, she is... She's trembling. Like, she's vis visibly trying to keep her shit together. And she's darting her eyes around. She's like, what are you talking about? She's just gonna come back any second now. Just, what little girl? Oh my god, no. I hate this place. I just wanna go home. Just me too. Take me home. <laughs> she starts to cry again. Oh no! <laughs> you can't. You walked in some kind of fucked up type of nightmare. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did. This is messed up. I. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Are we still in combat? Do I feel we like are in combat, yeah. We... Yeah, but the lady could be, you know, you you had your say. You did a movement action. Sounds like somebody needs a fire. Yeah. Um you have your action still, I think. Okay. Okay. Um the action was the turn on dead, was it not? Oh, I don't know what what kind of what type of action that is. Um I don't know. It says one action. It says an action. Okay, then you're done, I think, unless you want to do anything else. I don't think there is anything else to do. Right. Then it's Agatha's turn. Um, and... Do you need anything, babe? If one of my Twilight Sparkle Cokes is ready... Found its way, Dave. If, if it's cold. It I, is. It's not yeah, cold. I put them in. Just one? Yeah. Alright. Um, oh, yeah. All right. I'm so, waiting for Hagatha to do something horrible. Alright. <laughs> it's not horrible. Anyway, this little child looks up you, uh, looks up at you, and you have now two crying people around you, and her eyes grow bigger. And she's like, you're very mean. I don't want to play with you anymore. And her form dis like dissipates, and you see Agatha standing again, and she has to physically run away, fucking thirty feet from you. Must oh. <laughs> must uh, trying to move away as it's, well, it's. Hold on, she might be immune to fright. Hold on. Um, it's not a fright. It's on turn on dead. She's got to flee. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, no, there, there's some actual specific overruns, but no, no, she's got none of those. So she has to. She basically flies through the. Did she wall. fly? <laughs> oh, you bitch. Well, if she's disengaging, I get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Except my thing isn't there. Ah, oh, there's my thing. I'm Is your not... thing there? I did not have the crossbow out. I had the. That's fine. You can switch weapons. Nice. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know how to... Oh, because the last time I had the thing. There it is. Okay. Uh, reaction, correct? Yeah. Boink. There we go. Wham. Oh, <gasps> yay! I really am not a... I am not a fighter. You're not. You swing out and, and completely miss and actually knock <laughs> one of the candles to the ground and it poofs. Um, that was Agatha's move. Um, Damn it. For its action, it can only use dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. Take it in or try to attempt. Can't willingly move to a space within. It also can take reactions. Yeah, she's she's basically gonna be. She's gonna be here. <laughs> That's Jesus be Christ! This is uh, on turn now, and she's she still has her divine guidance, yeah. which is good. And she is going to cast. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Right. She's gonna. Can she reach there? Yeah. There we go. Um, what is that? She walks up next to you, and she now, like, with everything happening and seeing that. that Agatha is actually fleeing. You see her hold up her staff again and uh, twirl it around. You see the red, like uh, uh, agates, actually f flaring, fla uh, like uh, lighting up. And when, as she's twirling it, it creates like these these motions, patterns in the air. And she slams the the stick down again, like the the staff down again, and like an explosion of of, of bright little sparkles above in the air. Uh, mm. Like a little clouds of of sparkles rain down uh, around the shrine and like the area above, and uh, Goran says like, "You cannot keep hiding from us. We are now strong in our faith. You've prayed on I'm us right for too here. long. Step into the light, witch." And um, she has cast fairy fire for the player among you, um, and you see actually the the the. The dust, but the, the uh, luminescent dust particles actually clinging to Agatha, Agatha's shape while she's like hovering above the uh, above the temple, uh, above the shrine. I'm sorry. Um, that was the innate. Is that an action? Yeah, that's an action move. And then no, no, I don't want to do that. That wasn't right. I don't want to do that. And she's not in range yet, so. She's gonna take the stick. Um, yeah, she's going to just step in front of you again. And uh, spare the dying isn't needed. End her turn. Uh, it's up to you again. So you now have a. You're basically, if it wasn't kind of spoopy, you were in a very cool disco right now because there's like yeah, right? rainbow, purple, Seriously. red green blue yellow lights like going all around like in a kind of a foggy thing and up in the sky is now a luminescent uh, ghostly shape of a of a witch uh, all right well um <coughs> this seems like a case for spiritual weapon it is it is definitely all right let's do that i cast it over there by next to Agatha. Perfect. All right. Make right an, there. Make an attack roll. Um, wait, doesn't it make an attack? I make an attack roll? You make an attack. You make, an attack. You make it for it, actually. So, so a giant, uh, giant roll, bush of roses. No, what I always forget. is it It's blood? not a rose bush. It's just like it's a single, single ginormous, like a long stem rose, right? I can, I can imagine an entire non-existing world, but my mind has trouble. It, it stops functioning when I have to picture a giant. Like, are the petals giant as well? Like, what? Yeah, <laughs> like the whole thing is, but it's like, so instead of being a floppy, you know, a floppy sort of rose, it's like, you know, a thick, 
like if somebody took a, a long stem rose uh -huh. with the thorns and everything uh -huh. and just you know dragged the corners of it uh -huh. you know like you do to make a picture bigger right it's like uh -huh. whoop so it's huge it's, it's like, like the thorn is basically like a like a rhino's horn almost like right like yeah all right okay yeah it's like, it's like, definitely a bludgeoning sort of item right like it would you know you could get stabbed with the thorns or you could get whapped in the in the face with the like a mace head kind of but you know yeah, petals. No, 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 no. Okay, okay okay so this yeah. giant um, almost small tree like <laughs> rose yeah now, basically uh, apparates in front of her and gives her a whack you can roll a an attack roll spell attack roll i think See, that's the thing. I just don't get it. Do I just roll a 20? And roll 20 plus whatever do I roll proficiency for... plus your, uh, your spellcasting like... uh, modifier. Because I don't know where Why... the actual clicky thing is for spiritual weapon. Yeah. Clicky thing. I don't know. It Like, I can re repeat the roll? Is there some sort of roll in the spiritual weapon? Hold on. Let me, let me try this. What does that do? Oh, nothing. No. Oops. Okay. Escape well. Escape out of it or something because we don't want to play stone. Uh, uh, Did that work? Uh, oh no. Uh. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Well, I'm, I thought maybe that roll would make it be a roll. I'm but thinking if we can actually get your over there. from your inventory. Doesn't it actually add something to your inventory as well? Yeah. Summon mm -hmm. spiritual weapon. Um. I'm gonna drag it into your inventory. Where? Hold on. There we go. And now you I put the new one way the fuck over there by the well. Okay. Not on uh, purpose, you should be but... able to actually click it. You can actually see it in your inventory if you, if you have um, spiritual weapon out. So to open up your inventory, look at mm -hmm. equipment, and there should be a d20 on top of the image of the summoned spiritual weapon. So roll that, and we'll see what it, what happens. Ah, oh, nice. Yep. There we go. What the <gasps> fuck, really? Oh my. What the gosh. hell kind of bullshit is this, Rusty? You are playing the wrong class. <laughs> Like, Any class is gonna be terrible if I can't roll bigger than a no, one. No, no, no. But I don't. Be I believe these rolls were specifically meant for the vigor, uh, the vigor, <laughs> not the vigor. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, your rolls goes out, but it completely just goes through her form, and she kind of, even though she's scared of you, she's like, "What kind of pestry is this? You try to defeat me with parlor tricks." As soon as that little thing stops shining in my eyes, I will consume you. I'm so sad. <clears throat> that made me really sad. Mm -hmm. This place is ass. <laughs> Why did you digitally transfer Darian's dice? I transferred Darian's <gasps> dice. Oh no, did you? <laughs> yeah. Dude, Darian has the worst luck, like, ever. He always rolled really well for his spiritual weapon, though. You have your movement and your action. No, I have sadness. And you also sadness. have, like, RP-wise, you have sadness. Because no. you're starting to doubt. Like, she was already <sighs> like, did my actual goddess show up? And you're like, no, but now you're also already doubting, like, am I supposed to yeah. be here? <laughs> am I the cheese, or am I the mouse, or am I the cat? Like... You're not really sure. That's just disappointment. That's what that is. All right, well, I cast my spell. I have a bonus I can cast a spell. Oh, oh, I can. Um. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Any attack roll against an affected creature ob object has advantage. Really? You have advantage because of the fairy fire. Oh, shit, yeah. Well, that's good. So, Boink. So, yeah. Oh, see, that's better. So it doesn't go out. Yay. That hits. I, re <laughs> I refuse to believe that my right? my goddess has abandoned me. So, like, the God first one goes through her and she starts, like, antagonizing you. And, like, even though I'm scared, I'm going to consume your soul. And you're like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> like... I have faith, and with that, like, the rose comes back and, like, just 
back back swipes it and you can actually see like the rolls actually tearing open some of her form like already tattered form and you can definitely roll damage and roll max damage and she now feels which is actually 11 and it's force damage if that makes any difference oh it, it doesn't actually um sorry that should be it all right um did i turn no one more but now that she's taken damage, she's not going to flee from my... No, um, that is true. But you have sufficiently death. scared her still, like, in respecting you at least. Because she goes like, Oh, little mice has teeth. Very well, let's play. Okay, and so... Mm -hmm. Excuse me, my bonus action. Oh, hold on. I Hold on, I'm so sorry. I knew I had forgotten something. There's no music. <laughs> I just realized that's that true. There is no music. There is no music. I actually, like I said, I even told you, like I haven't picked out music for this encounter. Mm -hmm. um, but I is this a banger? Let's see if it's a banger. No, it's not a banger. A little bit more bangy. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Yeah. So she's like again, like her her, her, her form, like almost like enlarging again after like actually shaking off the fright, um, while like the turning on that, like let's play. And you still have your. Um, so yeah, as my bonus, I can cast Shield of Faith. Is that concentration, though? Um, if I right click it, does it put it in the thing? No. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. No. Once you've once you've cast Spiritual Weapon, it just does its thing. Your Shield of Faith is concentration. As a seal, I think that's concentration. But that's fine. You don't have any other concentration spells. Does it? Divine Guidance is also concentration. Let me double check. Oh, is that what the C means? I think it is. Yeah, I think the C is concentration. Well, that's weird, because Sanctuary doesn't have a C, but it should. Basically, in 5e, you have like a couple brands. Like, if something doesn't require concentration, it just lasts usually like until an effect happens or a sub uh, number of rounds or minutes, usually fairly long or like super short, like one round or something. Um, but other than that, it's usually only one concentration. So, most of the so what you're saying is, if I cast Shield of Faith, I sh I can't cast Bless next round. You can cast cast Bless next round, but Shield of Fate will drop. Well, that's dumb. All right. Well, it's, I don't want to do that. It's to basically that. prevent this five minute dance of oh, like the, the the Pathfinder 3.5. I'll cast these 75 spells <laughs> on myself. But I love those 75 spells. I know, but five years like are the best. that's dumb. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how we're. Okay, so how many times, how many times per short rest can I um, turn undead? 
Where does it say how many times per short rest? <clears throat> Not that I'm going to do it right now because I can't, but I'm just wondering. Uh, what's, is it a feature? Uh, yes. It's under features. Really? Yeah, it doesn't actually consume anything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to channel divinity. Yeah, it's under channel divinity, channel, turn on dead. Yeah, channel divinity has one use for rest. Um, okay, so, so I did it, that's it. I only yeah, get one. Yeah, so it actually, yeah, it, it's a sub subsection right. of it, so it would actually use that channel divinity. Okay, so that's I fine. If, if it, I just... Okay. Um, no. Your music is not on oh, replay forever. Or it's not for me. Well, you have to click the actual music icon, I think, before it actually starts playing or something. It's something weird. It was playing before. Oh. That's weird, because it should be playing. There, now it's going again. Okay. Was the end of the song. No. Um, okay, she's just gonna move over. Let's see. Oh, she's fast. No. No. What is that? Um, she creates a magical explosion of fiery radiance centered on a point she can see within 120 feet. Each creature. Oh no, no, she's not gonna use that. <laughs> She'll blow up everybody. <laughs> no. Yikes. No, no, she could do that, but she's not gonna risk it with so many people. Let's make it that. She's just gonna whack on her. total so the first two miss um well the first one misses and then divine radiance she's actually gonna try to use that another i am rolling like complete ass well it's no wonder she needed help yeah, like, yeah, i think it's these digital dice man no, i tell you not, no, it's not. It's really not. um okay hold on uh 16 oh wait what the fuck Oh, 
Oh yeah, I am doing that. 16 does hit. All right, very cool, very cool, very cool. So you see her like reach out her fist and like this radiant fire erupts around her and she's actually gonna be damaged. That's chunky. All right, 14 radiant um, damage. And you see Agatha's form like almost like being consumed by the light and the fire that she's been creating. Um, This is not enough. You will falter again. And she now starts to uh, look around. She has five more. She's gonna actually move closer to the stranger. Try to at least. And that's the end of her turn. But uh, if she moves. Oh, oh no, no, she, oh, she was already there. Yeah, no, she's, 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 um, <laughs> she's gonna actually. Um, yeah, Agatha's trying to move. Or at least looking to move to one of the stretchers. Yeah, she's gonna go in a flying position. Just in case. Um, and that's the end of her. And she looks into your eyes like, We have to finish this now! Like, we can't protect them all! Okay! Well, then I guess that means Guiding Bolt! On you! Lady, do, 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 do. feel the wrath of Shantaya. Maybe is... sixteen. Woot! All right. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. Okay. How do you want to do this? Um. She takes double damage from me. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, because she's undead. Duh. Duh. I should have hit her with that to begin with. Yeah. So um, how do you want to do this? I'll leave it. I'll leave it to you. So. Yeah. A. A. Uh, not like a lightning bolt, but like. Have you ever seen the Care Bear stare? I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like the Care Bear stare that comes out of the emblem on her shield as she summons, you know, the the judgment of Shantaea onto this undead creature. The Care Bear stare comes shining out of her shield and, like, obliterates her in little, like, rose petals and wheat sheafs. Perfect. Alright. As, she, as she, she gets bathed in this light, she still tries to your fight through it, and as the the, the 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 holy light is starting to consume her form, you can actually see this little girl inside of her form again, and you can see her almost. She's trying to get closer to you, and uh, this 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 banshee's face starts to wither and wane, and like inside of this form, it's like this little girl with two red flaring eyes, like inches away from you. She whispers into your ear, like. Uh, uh, very, very softly amid the roar of this spell and everything that's going on. And she, and she goes, uh, I'll see you with your dreams. Just as my sister will. Seems so cool, lady. And the voice disappears into her entire form. Uh, she might be in my dreams, but only as I obliterate you. Stupid woman. to one knee and makes another symbol. It's like, I can't believe that worked. You were truly, a, you, you truly are sent by her. I should not have doubted you. And she steps forward. We're out of combat, by the way. There's, no, um, there's nothing to combat right now. I was going to say, if, if I feel like it's safe, you know, the spiritual weapon can go, but if it's not I still have time to keep that thing around. No, you, 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 definitely, you, you can. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, Just in case. I mean, there was spoopy shit in the bushes, you know? You can like, see now... Uh, hold on. I have to do some light changes as well here, which is one of the downsides. Like, And with her form disappearing like that, 
the candles flicker back into place, the torches near the walls as well, and you see for the first time, which is kind of weird in this setting as well, but with the with Agatha disappearing, it's slowly you can see the sun, or at least what you think is the sun. Mm. slowly illuminating the entire market square um, as you're kind of like you're, you you want to talk to Agaron but your words become garbled a little bit and you have trouble understanding her and and you're looking at the the stretcher still and you're like oh no we got to we got to actually save these people and and you see last thing you see is is both your crystal and and Agaron's crystal uh, in her staff like flaring up um and this entire scene, as you see the sun come up, starts to get bathed in this red light again. And you're like getting, trying to avert your eyes from it, but, but at the same time, you know, powerless against it. And the scene gets bathed, and the next thing you know, you're actually standing in the middle of the day on the market square of Phandalin. Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, God damn it. Token control. There we go. There's, there's, there's no stretchers, and there is no Agaron. There is a person standing in front of you, though, in long, um, it's gonna be like white grayish clothes, with a large symbol, a like metal symbol around his neck, with large red hair, uh, looking at you like kind of strangely opening his eyes and, and looking at you. Well, that is certainly strange. How... Th did, did that just happen? Are we... Are you real? And you see this, this boy, early, like, early 20s man, like, step up to you and, and, and look into your eyes, like, I called for you. You answered. Yes. Did that just happen? Like, for real? It did just happen. Oh, crazy. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and you see this boy now, now look at you like, my, my name is, my name is Agaron, they call me Echo, but I already told you this, we've met before. Some of the souls were lost and we saved them, didn't we? Was I'm not something. sure. That was quite something, wasn't it? It was definitely something, that's for sure. And now you can now you're you... like actually inside the temple, like kind of out of view, luckily for the rest of the market square. Yeah. <laughs> um, Are you okay? I I am now. I that was it was real. And and you can see now uh, he's holding like uh, like a prayer book, and mm. um, if you look closely, like the, the 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 cover is actually like a like it's a hard cover, and there's like an actual mm. emblem of uh, like the same emblem of Taimora that's that's up in the shrine as well, but in in a inlaid with like red crystals that are still kind of like fairly after glowing, mm. and, and he's like clutching the book, and he's like. I always knew the book was real, and and I could hear their cries, and I could hear her, but you defeated her. The nightmares are over now, I can sleep again. Oh, that was so fucking cool. Oh, I, I can't wait. To oh no, you can't tell anybody. Well, yeah, I was going to say, maybe keep it to yourself. There's, there's things going on here that we're trying to figure out. These crystals are special. See, I have, I have one, one too. too. Oh, oh, oh! You have one too. Mm -hmm. That's how we got here, right? That's that must have been. And and he likes flipping, starts flipping through the book, uh, and you see there's like, like every third or fifth page or something has probably has like some kind of bookmark. You can see them sticking out now. <laughs> like he has he has scribbled in all of the the margins of the notes, and he starts flipping them through, and he actually points to you, and you actually can see, like, uh. An order of warriors, Ash he slash she, <laughs> was clad mm. in, uh, and and he's pointing to them like that was 
that was me they 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 used those crystals actually they 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 th oh there's so much we have to talk about we can't do it here though they'll they'll stone us the death if they knew that this thing was actually real so me and another friend are staying at the old mining office you know yeah yeah nobody if you want to good place to hide exactly but we are actually here on official business. Oh. The mayor brought us here to take care of the weird stuff going on in town. And we would really love to to talk to you a little bit in I have so privacy, much, safety. I have so much to discuss. Uh, uh, no, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Obviously, yes. Um, we will... Uh, I gotta... We're supposed to meet with the mayor at midnight, so... Assuming today is still today. I don't know. The last time I went oh, no. wherever that was, we were gone for a really long time. Make a nature check. Nature. nature. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> when it doesn't matter. Well, it, 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 it matters. I mean, it does, but you know what I mean. Um, going by the, it was a very clear, like, clear cast day. Like the sun was up in the sky. It has barely moved. Oh. Like from when you were following the procession, like when you came out last mm -hmm. time. It it should have at least, like, you spent a couple hours doing research in the in the mining, like in the mining shack. We'll call mm -hmm. it the mining shack right now. Mine check. Yeah. Um, it should have moved further at least, but it's, you know, it seems to be the same day at least. Like the weather is the same, feels the same, like temperature wise. Mm. The only weird thing is that the sun should have, like going by what you've done right now, like the entire scene you had, like going through the village, following the lights, you should have lost at least a couple more hours, which you seem to have not. So, um, um, but Agaron, like, responds in kind, like, that is perfect, that is perfect, though. Like, here, take one of these, um, and he, like, takes one of the, goes to, like, uh, um, a chest in the back of, a, of the shrine, puts it up, like, like, here, wear this one, and then you'll be, you'll be on official holy business if anybody asks, um, and I will meet you here, t meet me here tomorrow. I'm going to do a sermon mm -hmm. for the entire village in the aftermath of everything that happened. Of the souls that were stuck, but we saved. I was so cool, though. I, mm -hmm. I wasn't very brave, though. I was so glad you were there. You um, were brave. You hung on as long was, as you could. I, I tried. I tried so so hard. And, and, and the book said everything I was supposed to do, and I thought I was ready, but I, I really wasn't. But but we it, did it together, right? So I'm gonna do a sermon tomorrow, and 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 I I know that those 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 four people, three. How many were there? Hold on, I gotta gotta make him four. Roll. Hold on, I gotta make him roll. <laughs> you gotta make him roll. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! But he had guidance on. He never used it. No, but it's been more than a minute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it! Been, it's been more than a minute. Yeah, okay. he's he's like oh, already doing this, and you can actually remember you going through this as well. Exactly. Like, like, uh, I know. Is there something I can do to help him? <laughs> like, I put his hand on the book, mm -hmm. on the crystals on the book, yes. and I say it. It was real. I put my hand on top of his, and I say it was real. You were there. It, it was real, right? But there were was... four people, and there was a witch, and you helped me defeat her. Not here, they're not. Not anymore, they're not. You're right. We did it. All right, I will talk to you tomorrow. Come to my sermon, please. I would really love if you could hear some of the words I have to say, and then if you're actually here officially. Um, but but first, you probably should get out of sight. I don't want to get any any more trouble, but but we can be certain that we we got we guided those souls to where they should be, and hopefully Shante and Taimora are both looking over. Thank you so much, Vicar. Um, and 
We're in this together. He like leans in and now kind of goes in for a hug, if you'll let him. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right, and... She is a hugger. Yeah, he'll, he'll he'll and and you can see now this like his entire build is like a lot more frail as well. Uh, mm. But like the same features come back, like kind of gender bent, but still it was it was the same person. It wasn't that she was actually or he was an actual different person. He's like, okay, you gotta go now, and he, he like drapes the, the the cloak around you and gives you a little symbol, like a little uh, metal, uh, like a silver uh, disc with uh, clover uh, cut out. And he's like, may the time or I guide you and stay safe, Vicar. Oh, I'm gonna sleep so well tonight. Um, and he uh, turns around and starts fiddling with his with his altar, like putting stuff in the place and lighting new candles and and go flipping through the book again and starts slowly humming to himself. Okay, um, isn't it a little suspicious for somebody to be walking around town with like a hood up and like all you know? I don't want to. I mean, everybody her knows her, everybody. <laughs> well, no, just like. As I've walked around town and seen people walking around town, like people aren't like all bundled up in their cloaks and shit, are they? Depends on the profession it's or where they're going. Sunny outside, and I, I don't know. I just don't want to be like extra suspicious, all like you know, hood and cloaky man walking back to my, you know, abandoned shack. No, you could. It, it's probably like if you do question Agron about it, like he specifically said, like wear this and take this symbol and if anybody asks you you're basically on like you know holy business i'm on business okay <laughs> yeah, that was all right idea, well least, so, you know you can you can and... totally not wear it though like it was just no i'm i'm going to because he seems i mean he knows the town better than i do so, hmm? I think so. i'll do that all right. um all right and we'll actually activate oh we can actually make it say again okay hold on I gotta put my son to bed. I'll be right back. Sure. Hi. Hi. So there's actually a real person watching us. <laughs> oh, <seriously? laughs> yeah. Well, that's awkward. I love mm. an actual real person. I mean, I'm watching. I mean, Teddy's watching <laughs> too, but yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, it's not real, right? No. <laughs> My crystal. You're not real. You're not, real. <laughs> You're not a real boy. Um, You're not a real boy. So, okay, uh, so yeah, I'll put on the cloak and walk down the street like 
Like, I know where I'm going and nobody should be bothering me because that's how you get people to not bother you, right? Yeah, definitely. Like, you make a... Just, just for funsy's sake, make a... Oh. Make a... Um, before I go... Ego, do you happen to have a broom I can borrow? Oh, oh yeah, uh, sh sure, just hold on. Um, he's like looking around the shrine. <laughs> Yeah, just just take this one. I'll, I have another one uh, back in my home. Um, I I can bring it back tomorrow. Oh, yes, no worries, no worries. That was so cool, though. That was so cool. Uh, um, yeah. So I'll take the broom. So now I look like I'm doing something, <laughs> and plus I can you know help clean out the shack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So as I'm walking down the street, you said roll for something. Here's a roll for something. Okay, that that'll probably almost hit ten, which is good enough to get you across town um, <laughs> and uh, into the shack. And uh, let's see, I do some calculations here. Um, you step inside and you find all of the. Oh, there's the vicar. Um. <laughs> um yeah, this is gonna be weird time bendy, kind of. Uh, the things you've cleaned up haven't mm -hmm. actually been cleaned up. Like, your stuff is not actually there yet. And when you get inside, uh, where it's like, where have you been, kind of. This is some weird fairy realm shit. It's not a lot, and the f just the fact that you actually noticed and was able to figure out, like, there's some time dilation here that you've gained, it seems, an hour or two. Or at least going That's back. super weird. But I don't, like, meet myself or anything, right? No. Hmm. Ward's the same, and, you know, you just... It's this thing where you're trying to remember, did you actually clean up a little corner? Was your stuff already here? And then, mm. like, if you actually do wait, like, an hour or so, your stuff is outside. Mm. And that card comes back around. and Or was it coming back around? Was it already... Right? Already like... <laughs> so, it's, like, the opposite. Like, I, I went there and I came back instead of we were gone for 10 days i gained <laughs> like 10 minutes or something yeah like, like there's it's mm, something to think about it's also black for some reason because my fog is black again <laughs> there it is so all right but um that is for you and maybe ward to figure out later yeah um, apparently and with that, you have at least seemingly rescued some souls, um, met another person. Maybe. That's yes. Too, maybe some of the stuff yeah. you guys can do, um, and at least gotten to know one person that's not completely trying wrong, to kill us. Trying to kill, <laughs> trying to kill you for now, or in some dark ritual, ritualistic pact. So. Um, so with this that, is good. <laughs> that's where we will we end this little solo session. Um, and uh, we'll excellent, go to the thank you. Mode because I have to check some stuff as well. So <laughs> sure, <laughs> I'll, yeah. Uh, I'll kill the stream here, and uh, and we should be streaming again then Saturday next week, right? Saturday, yeah. Yeah, we'll do the big one then, and and, and get into some some good chunk of, of fluff in, in town as well. And you have some, you have a lot of leads to go on now as well. So yeah, I'll yeah. Make sure I'll be on prepared. So, so for awesome. the one actual live person that w might have been watching, uh, thank bye. you. And you know, <laughs> what a, we're gonna try to get a strict, well, not strict, but like at least be somewhat consistent <laughs> <laughs> in like a once a month type of deal. It could be one person, it could be three, it could be four, it could be just me talking to myself for two and a half hours. Oh, um, it's not but, good you know, for that. <laughs> 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 uh, but we're gonna see where this goes. Um, so, bye. Awesome. Uh, bye. Bye. -bye.